Welcome to today's video. As you might remember, we already talked about a couple of Asgard memories, including DDR4 and DDR5. And today we have something completely new from them. We're going to talk about Asgard, Freya, DDR5. These are T3 and these are 2 times 8 gigs on 5200 MHz. So, of course, we're going to run some benchmarks and check out the speeds and everything. But first of all, we're going to check out some specifications. So the box comes with two times eight gigs on 5200 MHz. You have an option with 4800 MHz as well. Voltage for 4800 MHz is 1.1 and for 52 is 1.25. CL for the 4800 MHz is 40, while the 5200 is 36. You have lifetime warranty, one die ECC, uh, base frequency is 48 for those, this is for the, uh, for these ones is 52. And it's certified with Intel XMP 3.0. And now to talk about the design. Now on these ones we don't have any RGB, these are uh, silverish design with Asgard logo. Uh, here at the back and here we have the NG letter from runes which represents the god of fertility in Norse mythology. But uh, cool design, low profile without a doubt because the total height from the connector to the top part of the passive heatsink is 3.7. Uh, you can definitely use these in uh, huge uh, air coolers that use 140 fans or even 120 but they go above the RAMs because these ones are very low profile and they could work. Now with these two of course we get a quite interesting box and artwork and I'm mentioning this just because Asgard is definitely the only one that actually does some certain artwork and that the actual name Freyr or any other that we covered actually has some resemblance to the Norse mythology or any other mythology or anything in particular so it's quite cool. Now in the box, uh, except for the two sticks that you get, you get the covering for the connection part as well, like we did on all Asgard memories, and you get gloves, anti-static ones, just in case. But basically, if you discharge, you don't have to use them. Uh, you're quite all right with that. So we're going to plug them in, in of course, DDR5 motherboard and uh, check out the speeds and see actually in comparison with other Asgard DDR5 and other DDR5 that I had and other DDR4, just to see how they actually perform. Let's go. As usual, benchmarks were run in AIDA64 Extreme Edition with uh, cache and memory benchmarks and I ran them on uh, MSI MIG Z690 Torpedo EKX and here's the thing so uh, the CL is 36 which is lower than Asgard ISR DDR5 memory that's quite all right uh, and then we go to the next thing we have copy speed so the copy is just by slides so 50,400 megabytes per second and it uh, beats Asgard Bragi just by a bit and that's around 200 megabytes. Then we have latency, latency is 96.5 which places Asgard Freyr at the last position after Asgard Aesir with 94.3 then we go to the read speeds now the read speeds are really impressive with 63,900 megabytes per second uh, beating asgard bragi patriot viper blackout edition uh, valkyr zenith spectrix and everyone else uh, the only one that is in front is asgard isr ddr5 2 times 16 gigs now then we go with uh, write speed which are also quite impressive uh, 60,460 uh, which is about 8,000 behind the Asgard Aesir. Basically what I would say is these ones do perform quite nicely even though they're 8 gigs and even though they are let's say in I wouldn't say in lower segment of DDR5 but they still do perform quite nicely and compared to DDR4 they beat them in almost well they beat them in every benchmark but in some benchmarks they're really really close to DDR4 but then again in read and write speeds they just go so high above DDR4 it's just amazing 
as I already stated at the beginning of the video, we have uh, Asgard Freyr, which are low profile RAMs without any RGB, nice silverish design with Asgard logo right here on the side, and the letter NG from Norse mythology, and that's basically it. I would say that these are quite nice, and I can't uh, uh, argue with it. And if you're actually aiming for something with lower price range in DDR5, since most of them come in 2x16 and the prices for those are quite high, this will go uh, around $200 and I'll place the links and the prices are current as I record this video, so the prices can change, but at the time of recording they were around $200. And you can check out the prices in the links below, and of course if you want you can buy them over there as well. And that's about it, so if you liked the video, this was, uh, let's say, a short recap of the Asgard Freyr 2x8 gigs DDR5 on 5200 MHz. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like and click the notification bell for future content, and hopefully I will see you very soon. Bye-bye guys! Thank you.